Give me a little Q&A. So here's another one. When you have an out-of-body experience, or let's say your physical body drops dead and your consciousness leaves, and you find yourself in a hellscape or travel to many different realms, including your own, will you be able to have the form you want and use the abilities that you want as well? The answer to these questions would be yes, yes to both. You can have your own form. You can travel to any different realm you want. It is your own choice at any point in time. Nothing stops you unless, like, I would say it's all about your beliefs and how well do you trust yourself. But I mean, if you look at this life you have right now and this body, how well do you know yourself? Your faults, your strengths, your characteristics and everything else. So you might have certain like level of self-esteem and self-love and no matter what others say you know like they might criticize you they might insult you but deep down even with all the things you hear around you whether it's praise or whether it's cussing or something else you know like hey i'm good at this no, I'm, I'm, no matter what i say i'm gonna keep on going this is what i'm all about you know like i might be kind i might be empathic i might be a hustler i might be entrepreneur you look at these things that it's just you. It's all that you care about. You know, like you know, you might see you might see yourself as a healer or energy worker or anything you want to call yourself, but it's you. And nothing, nothing that anyone else says will change that reality. So you have this basic ground belief. It is your pillar. It is the core. And nothing can move you out of that, right? So, like you, let's say I took the red pill and I'm awake and I'm ready to go. And you know that no phrase will make you fall asleep and be with the blue pill, so to speak, and, and everything else. Great. When you have that sort of understanding about who you are, it works the same way when your physical body drops dead and, and your consciousness is out there. When you find yourself in a hellscape, when you find yourself in places that seem dangerous and it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And it scares you at the moment, right? Like all of these experiences, it might be really intense, you might hear like a lot of like loud sounds. It might be chaotic. And for a moment, you panic. It might be like weird. It might be strange. Like, oh, what am I going to do? How, how do I get out of here? Like I, one minute I was on earth. Next one, I'm here in hell. Uh, a lot of creatures around me and they're looking creepy. And I don't know if I can escape. Well, here's where you stop. Okay. Perception. Dark, bad, chaotic, ooh, creepy. I don't want to see it. I want. I don't want to feel it. But you have had the experience or like you have the understanding you might have had read like you might have read a lot of stories you might have watched a lot of videos and let's say you have fallen asleep and had a lot of lucid dreams in lucid dreams you know that whatever you think about you can manifest you can create it just like that you have full control so if you've had that experience or if you've practiced this long enough you're more like okay hellscape around me my body is looking creepy i might feel like you know it's like i don't have something but you're like you know consciousness think of harry potter movie your worst fear jumping out of the closet and you're saying this like spell you think about something funny and boom it switches into your creative reality and you manifest it and all of a sudden the power is yours the thing you were most afraid of it's gone so it is exactly like that with your consciousness you might see this curious thing around you. Whether it is your surroundings, whether your body might seem li limited or like how my shape or form, can I switch? You stop. All of these worries and stuff, it doesn't really happen. When you leave your body, a lot of these thoughts, they're gone. The programs we have in the background, no, it's not there anymore. It's really quiet. So it's just knowing this. You know that it's a consciousness, or let's say reality is created with your thoughts. Whatever you focus on, whatever you think about, you create. Reality does not exist until you think of it. And so you see the perception of hell, you stop, and you start creating things around you. Like I said, like, okay, hellscape, hell, burning, fires, demons around me and everything else. And just for a moment, think of like running a little rendering machine that's going to run through the screen, like a loading screen on like the older computers, and as it's loading, it's going to load a new reality around you. And you just imagine Hawaiian Beach or another place that you might be in love with. And not necessarily Earth. It might be your own like, create escape. And you're just like, no, it's all light. 
It's I'm, I'm on the beach and there's this hellscape changing into a beach. You start thinking about it, you start focusing on it, you start creating it. And it's not like every single thought will change everything, but you have an intention, okay? Hellscape, crazy, scary, but right now you just focus on, I wanna be on the beach. I am on the beach and you see the picture clearly. The most important thing to remember about it all, I think, is that when you have a dream, let's say I, I, I want to have this house or this car, we think of our future as our past. You see the end result right away. You think of a wife, you think of a husband, you think of a house or a place you want to be at, a, a trip. You might see the end result just for a glimpse. Here you are in that house. You might be in a pool, you might be you know, like uh, at your, you know, writing desk in the office, you might be in that kitchen, but you see the details, you see every single thing, you see the end picture for a glimpse for just one moment, but that is enough. And that alone, it's like you saw it, that was enough to grab onto one reality that you care about, that makes you feel good. And so if this hellscape you have around you or other realms that might not make you feel comfortable, you stop for a moment, you focus on that end result you want to see. You focus on that, you know, the beach or the forest or the mountains or the nature or a park or anything else that you like. And you just like try to like, okay, for a moment, stop, imagine, think about it, feel it. What would it be like being in that location? What would it feel like touching that desk? And all of a sudden, reality around you starts changing. Another important thing is how you feel about it, the essence, right? So people think of like hell and they think of chaos and fear and being stuck and burning and, you know, it's really hot and like all of these scary things because we've heard so many stories. So all these things in the background are playing a part and it's our beliefs about it. But if you can stop for a moment and just like, okay, I acknowledge my reality is this for a moment. It's I don't like it. But if you were to focus on your house or on that beach or other place, what kind of essence and feeling state does that like inflict on, on upon you? Like, how do you feel about it? Like being in the beach? Well, it's uh, it's pretty warm. It's really comfortable, relaxing. It feels like a vacation. Me and my family are just me and like, I just love it. And all of a sudden your energy and your focus shifts. From a place where it was chaotic and what do I do into, uh, it's comfortable. And that state, that alone will shift your whole reality. What you focus on and how you feel about it in that moment will change it all. So even if you have the creepiest of all demons in front of you, and it just like drives you nuts with how ugly and scary it is, if you can just like stop yourself for a moment, and even knowing how scary and creepy it is and you might be shaking if that's what you feel like, you can literally like flow love into it. Like, okay, imagine there's this one person that I love or there's, you know, like maybe uh, you have a puppy, maybe you have a cat and you focus on the best event that has happened in your life or maybe past lives or just like, you know, like eating chocolate, like, oh, it just melts my mouth. It feels so good. Mm. Just remembering that one happy thing and kind of like drawing it, like drawing in that moment. Well, literally that feeling state will lift the frequency and the vibration around you. And that creepiest demon in front of you will start changing. Because if you're feeling good, that thing can no longer be in your space. And all of a sudden it starts shape-shifting into something that will fit your reality. And the more you focus on the good, the more you focus on the better, the more you focus on something you love, that vibration, that frequency will change that being completely. So yeah. It's all about your thoughts, feeling states, your understanding, feeling comfortable about it. Because the way people and consciousness gets limited, if by the perception we buy into it. If we choose to play a game where, okay, as a conscious being, like you are the creator of our realms, you are amazing, you're strong, you're powerful, you can do everything. But for a moment, just for a moment, close your eyes and imagine being a kid or a person who is trapped and cannot get out. Can you imagine the scenario? And this creative being that can do it all puts itself into an individual or a box that is called, like, let's say a kid that is limited and cannot escape. 
and we're trying to play this identity, right? Like we're buying into it. Like, oh, what kind of role do I have to play? What do I have to do? Like you're looking at the script. Okay, just play limited. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, I can't move, right? All right, I'm going to be the being that cannot move. Great. Fun game. Yeah. But the moment you buy into that role, the moment you, you as a consciousness where you are limitless, where you can create everything, put yourself into an identity of a limited being, I can't fly. I can't create. Yeah, what else do I need to do? It's just like, you know, it's just like role play. Just like acts. You know, like you know, make a real like funny face. Huh. <laughs> Great. Like make the like mad face. Mm. And you like try these things, right? And so for a moment, you're playing a role, an identity in a game with your buddies or some pals or someone else. And for a moment, you're just gonna play someone who's limited. But it's so easy to capture you in that moment. Oh. Well, you just bought in that you you don't remember anything. You're just acting as if you're having amnesia. Like, what? Uh, who, who, who's my daddy? And like all of these things, it's, it's gone. Because you've played the part and someone else can use that moment. So if you have strong core beliefs about who you are, like, yep, I am limitless critter being. Whatever you think about and focus on, if I have an intention, I can create. And so even, even if you end up in hellscape, even if you see all these beings, you know, deep inside that no one can push you around. No one can shift anything because you are the creator. And these thoughts, when you have strong core beliefs and understanding about something, nothing can move you. And you are the one creating everything else. So hopefully that answers your question a bit deeper. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.